cooking, and a lot of southern cooking is all about hog jowl and fat back and bacon. And I love hog jowl and fat back and bacon, but I also like doing things that are a little bit lighter. So here we have some black eyed peas, and I'm going to put in a bowl. And I also have a beautiful heirloom, a beautiful local heirloom tomato. And I'm going to just cut that in a cross hat. The whole goal is to have everything all about the same size. So that when you take a bite, you get a bite of everything. So we've got the black eyed peas that were simply cooked with salt and water. Alright, and then I'm going to lay it on its side and cut. And then that way the tomato pieces are all about the same size as the black eyed peas. So, my name is Virginia Willis, and I'm the author of Bon Appetit, y'all, and working with Gold Peak IC to talk about just how food and wine pair together, well, food and tea can pair together, too. Now, most of the time when people cut corn, they cut corn like this, and it flies everywhere, okay? So, what I like to do instead is cut it like this. How about that? Smart. Alright? You cut it on its side, and then that way the corn kernels don't go everywhere. Alright, so we've got a couple of ears of corn on the cob that's just been boiled. Alright, one, two, three. So like I said, my style of cooking is a style of cooking that I like to call refined southern cuisine. And we, I like to think, do things a little bit lighter. So the book is all about stories and recipes from three generations. And I use my French training with southern ingredients. So now I've got my corn, and I'll just sort of coarsely chop that. So to, to break up the kernels. And this is going to taste fantastic with the sweetened gold peak. Because it's southern. Alright, so I've got my corn in, and tomatoes, alright, and then now I'm going to add my onion, and this is, this is how you cut an onion, this is the stem in and the root in, and whenever you're dealing with a round vegetable, the first thing you want to do is to get a flat surface, so I'm going to cut off the stem in, and there I have a flat surface. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through the root end and peel off this outside paper skin. With all this barbecue, you've got to have some vegetables too. Okay? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of horizontal slices. And I'm going to go like that. Okay? And you notice I didn't do like that. This is my knife flip. Now, with my fingers bent and my thumb tucked, I'm going to go back and make some vertical slices. Alright? And because I left that root in the tack, it's going to all hold together. Now watch this. Okay, instantly chopped onion. So I'm going to add my onion. I've got the black eyed peas in there and the tomato and the corn. Alright, and then now some celery. So when I'm chopping celery, the first thing I'll do is I'll take off this tough white one and then cut it into two equal size lengths. And then cut this into sticks. And I'm going to line them up like little soldiers. And then this is a chef knife. You'll see how it sort of curves like that. And I'm going to use that curve. Alright, and I'll add my celery. Alright, and then now I need to make my vinaigrette. So I want to put a little bit of garlic on it. Here I have a head of garlic. And I'm just going to tap it lightly, and that's going to help me remove this outside paper skin. And I'm going to smash it. And then, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of salt, 
sprinkle over it. And it's going to act like an abrasive. And help it grow up down even further. We've got free samples of gold tea iced tea, free samples of my black eyed pea salad. Y'all come over and give it a try. All right. And then now I'm going to take my knife like a palette knife. And just completely pulverize the garlic so we have a perfectly fine paste. And now I'm going to add a little bit of mustard and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Alright, so I've got my apple cider vinegar and my mustard, and the mustard's going to help make it creamy. So if I just combine the oil and the vinegar, it would become creamy. So mustard is the key. So now I'm going to whisk in at a slow, steady stream. Oil. Alright, and then I'm going to season my dressing with salt and pepper. But I'm also going to season my salad with salt and pepper. Because you have to season in layers. And then now, I'll pour my dressing over and all that nicely finely chopped garlic. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some basil. My basil, what I'm going to do is stack my leaves. Oh, and I like to use, I meant to mention this the oil. I like to use canola oil because canola oil doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. And it really is going to let this, the, the flavor of the vegetables shine through. So now I'm going to roll up my basil leaves and a cigar, okay? So I'm rolling up into a cigar and then once again using that chef knife and that rolling motion. And what happens is you get these beautiful ribbons and this is known as chiffonade, okay? And if I wanted to go back and chop, now I would go back and chop like that. Beautiful black-eyed pea salad. Did y'all get to taste it? Mm -hmm. See, I like all the ingredients to be all about the same size, so that when you take a bite, you get a bite of the pea and the tomato and the celery and the corn, and it's a little bit of everything. And you can make this a day ahead. It's really good the next day. And I like to serve it as a side dish, or also like as a, um, a bed for pork rinds or chicken. So. Yes, ma'am.